Hey and welcome to our tutorial. Today I will try to show you how to create this uh, multiple lines effect inside Microsoft Word. So take a look how it looks like and start with a blank document. Of course we can create a lot of different lines by just selecting insert shapes line and then just draw a line holding the shift key to draw it in a 45 degree angle somewhere on the document. Change the outline color and change the outline bit. And then we can copy paste this shape you know, multiple times, move it around, or we can just drag it with the control key pressed that will duplicate it as well. But you can see that I was having maybe 50 or 60 different lines on this document and that may take us a while. Actually, it may take us a few minutes. So let's try to do it in a very different way this time. And that would be using Visual Basic. But don't worry, I will try to explain everything as clearly as possible and from the point of view of someone who actually don't use Visual Basic, believe me or not, that's actually me, because all I'm doing is copy-pasting pieces of the code from the internet and that's actually what I will do today. So let's start with just opening the Visual Basic and that we can do by selecting the developer ribbon, which you may or may not have already displayed. If you don't see the developer ribbon, just right-click and select Customize the ribbon and make sure that the developer item in this list is being checked. That way we can see it in here. Select the macros for just this document and it will create a new macro which we'll call create random lines. And we will click the create button. I'll try to resize this window so we can see this visual basic editor as well as a little at least a little bit of our document. I will maybe double click this developer so I can see more of the document. So how we will draw a line? Well the answer is just open Google and type in word VBA which stands for Visual Basic Applications draw line and you can see we already have uh, something, I already visited some uh, websites. The first one is MSDN which gives us a lot of nice information but in this case it's not actually what, what we need because the example which is in there is using a new canvas we don't want to use canvas we want to just draw a line without having any canvas that is draw a line directly to the document so we will open the second example from a different site and here is what we need we need this part that is active document shapes add line so we'll copy this and paste it into the basic basic editor and we need to make few changes in there some very uh, some Variables are being used here, so we'll change this to numbers. So begin will be zero, y and x, so it will start in top left corner of the document and end should be maybe 100 and 100. That will draw a line from top left corner and the right bottom edge of the line would be 100 pixels from, or maybe not pixels, but 100 units from top and left. So let's press the play button or run button and see what it does. Okay, so we actually did get the line in the document, which is pretty cool. And now we are just a few steps from getting the effect which we are looking for. So I will select the line and delete it and try to do something else. We want to have those line, or at least this line being randomly positioned on the screen or on, in the document. For that we would need another function which is random, uh, spelled R-N-D, type like this. And that will give us a number going from 0 to 1. So we can replace all these, all those values with the function random. So let's replace it by random. This one will be also random. The end will be random as well. And of course, and y will be random as well. R and D. Okay, it's spelled correctly. If I run this script again, you may see that you know maybe nothing has happened, but actually the line was being drawn. It's just that the random function gives us values between 0 and 1, so the line is so small we cannot actually see it. If I open the selections pane, there is a line. It's in the top left corner. It's so small we can't even see it. If I resize it, maybe I'm not even able to resize it. Anyway, I will delete this line or try to delete this line. Oh, okay. And update the code to draw a little bit bigger line. So let's say we want the random to be multiplied by some number, maybe 400. 
so I'll multiply all the, all the random values by 400 that will give us a number between 0 and 400 and if I run this again you know there should be a line I'm not quite sure why there isn't okay the lines were there all the time just that the word decided that he will not update himself itself so the lines were just not updating if I press the run button multiple times you know we get a lot of different lines so we are getting somewhere it's being restricted to this area of 400 by 400 we actually want those no, blinds to be placed all over the page and the answer how to get those values is was actually in the previous web page that we were looking at so if I open it again you can see that we have this active document page setup page with which we will use in our code okay so let's jump back to our code I'll maybe delete all those lines again so we don't have quite a big of mess and we will add few variables we will do a variable called random x which will be x position as long we will call we will add a variable called random y as long which will be a y position and we will set those random x to be random something times the size of the page the width of the page and the random y to be random times the height of the page so we'll change this to page height something like this then we will change the line to draw a line to be x being a random x y being a random y and the n being a random x plus certain value for example 200 and the end y being a random y plus 100 so if we run this again we should get okay so something is wrong here i've spelled this incorrectly it's r and d sorry so if i run this multiple times we should have a lot of different lines with the same size but on different positions around the page and that's actually what we are looking for so the next step would be to change to set the random length of the lines so we will add another variable called a random length as long and again we will set this random length to be sorry a run, a random value times something for example i don't know maybe times 200 and what we can do also is to add a value to add a number to this value just because if the random value is zero that would mean that the line would be sized to zero which will not be visible but it will just take resources so we can add maybe 20 pixels to each uh, dimension that it is to x and y so we will add this random length to the start position and again i will run this a few times to see if it works it seems like it's working we have random lines around the document with the random lengths we still need to do a few more tweaks that is to say set the line width and line color and maybe add a, a loop so we can create multiple lines at once and that we don't have to press the run key or one 60 times or so let's start with the line color and line width and again google word vba line property probably and that just give us the page where we can at least uh, see something hopefully okay let's jump to the examples and you can see that we can use the dash style to set the dash style for color rgb that's what we will using we will be using and the width actually weight so we will try to use weight and the four color rgb values to send the color and the weight before we do that we have to do one more change and that is to set my line to be this one so we can access this and if i run this i will probably get an error because i have to put those uh, properties into the brackets don't ask me about the details not quite sure why i have to do it maybe somebody who is using vba more than me could answer this in the comment section anyway once we have the my line uh, set we can access this by by typing my line dot uh, line dot weight, weight equals maybe five and my line dot line it was for color rgb equals rgb some random value i don't know 50 150 200 we will test this if it works if we get bolder lines in some random color which is in this case blue this is great 
So how to set a random color? We can of course type in a random value for R, G and B channels like R, R and D times 255. And if we do this for each channel, that will give us a very random value for each line. So if I run this multiple times, you can see that every line has a very different color. And that may be something that you want and that's you know that's perfectly fine but in my case i would rather see those colors to be restricted without uh, some palette let's say so for example i want those lines to be around the blue color or around the green color and the way you set colors inside board you have two different options one option is just what we've shown here that is to set the rgb color that's same as if you open any drop down menu for selecting colors and you select more colors and in here you select from those hexagonal shapes uh, palette or you select from this standard color picker and for every color you get the RGB value and that's all. The other way how to set the color is from the team colors and that is using those uh, this palette down here. The advantage of setting the team colors is that anytime later on you can change the team and that will automatically change those colors to different ones. So we'll try to set the colors of those lines to any of those team colors. Again, I have to Google a little bit, maybe type in word, uh, you know, line or four color. What is a color? Team color, VBA, of course. Hopefully that, was, that was, will give us something. It's not the right and the first one that is for actually changing those colors. It's, I believe, this link, which shows this line which we need. We need to set line four color object team color to some value. So I'll copy this and set the four color RGB to be something, cannot paste it, oh, anyway, I will set the four color, what was it, it was object team color, okay, okay, object team color is something maybe free, so we will test this with a stack number, seems like it's working, so now we will change this to a random color, selecting maybe from five different colors and if I run this multiple times I may get some error you can see right now that's because the object team color goes from one and not from zero so we have to actually add one to this one so we can access the right values and as you can see we are just one step away from actually creating the effect which we are looking for and that one step is putting everything inside the loop so we can create multiple lines with just one click so our last google search will be how to create word vba for loop that should be fairly easy hopefully let's see the page what it gives us okay so for counter equals something to something else next counter i think that we can do this I will start above, above setting the random value. So for counter equals zero to nine. So we'll create nine different, uh, 10 different lines. We will do this one add a new line and we will say next counter. I will select everything in between and press the tab key. So we have a little bit of formatting so you can see what's going on. And then I will try to run this script and I should get 10 different lines, which is what I'm getting. So I'll run it maybe, you know, three or four more times. Then I will select everything with the select objects tool like this. I may still have to select un of the unselect some of the unselected objects. Then I will select format, group those objects into the group. And I will change the team to be something different because I don't like this team very much so I will open the design ribbon drop down colors and change it to maybe blue green or blue maybe blue and I may also change the page background color to some darker one like this one and I'm already you know, almost done with the effect the last thing I can do is I can type in something and if I you, you will see that if I press the enter key I'm moving everything that's because those lines have the anchor point on the first character on the first line. That said, I can still press the spacebar key to enter a space, and then I can press the enter key to add more lines. And I will type in, give me 
more lines okay i will change the font size to be something much bigger maybe also the font face to me code bold and i think that i'm already done with the effect if you don't like the lines being over the text or if if you want them to be behind the text you can always right click those lines and select wrap text behind text and this is live preview just so just toggling between those two items without clicking you can see a different result of course if you want the different colors the easiest way is to jump to design and change the for, uh, theme colors i believe i was maybe using a different theme for the preview image maybe it was a blue one doesn't matter you can choose any color any theme colors you want and with different colors you will of course get different effects i quite kind of like this red violet one okay and that's uh, that's basically it we are done with this effect in about 15 minutes we can only guess if it will take us more time to draw those lines manually or not hopefully not actually it's the opposite way but hopefully we have learned something new today thanks for watching